Hey you guys, today we're going to be talking about the command menus in Melody of Memory. Melody of Memory follow the same format as the number titles, changing the command menus depending on what world you're in. I love this detail, uh, it's just so cool to see so many different unique art styles, you know, making up these worlds that we visited. Now this isn't going to be a typical breakdown where, you know, I point out every single little detail and, you know, point out where it comes from because they are pretty self-explanatory. Um, I just wanted to take the chance to show all of the different ones. I, I'm i pretty sure I got all of the command menus um, and I'll be flipping through them while we're on screen. So I'm going to, you know, let all the different command menus play out. Then I'll talk about a couple of the, you know, memory dives and uh, unique command menus that I liked. And while I'm showing all these command menus on screen, I'll just take a second to uh, talk about breakdowns. Um, they are still coming. I plan to do each of the different teams for Melody and Memory, um, and then uh, I'll move back to the KH3 data battles, and then I have a, a lot of ideas for previous games. I really want to thank you guys for your patience. I know uh, breakdowns will slow down considerably. I hope to get back to a weekly schedule pretty soon as my program's finishing up for the semester. But uh, that's all I've really got. Um, I'll let the command menus play out. Let me know your favorite one down below. Um, I think for mine, uh, it's actually maybe the Eye of Darkness track, which is the uh, Ventus Nightmare. I don't know, I just really liked, uh, there's just three stained glass pieces, but it's just so simple. I really like that one. Or maybe, hmm, the, the recoded one was really cool too, just like the bits of data. I really liked how for the final world, they just left uh, nothing. Like it was just completely blank, which makes sense for you know that world. So with the memory dives, you actually had, at least for the character specific ones, um, some unique symbols and s some symbols that stayed the same. Um, so usually you'd have two symbols that changed for the memory dives and everything else uh, stayed the same. For the opening cinematic ones, there was the same command menu, they just changed the color. Lastly, uh, depending on what character you used, you would actually see uh, a different person running across the track, which I really enjoyed that. Like I, I thought it was a, a nice detail, they didn't really have to do that, um, but you know, it was a nice, nice little touch. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I know this is a little different than my usual content. Breakdowns are coming. Um, I will hopefully get back to a weekly schedule soon. Uh, if you want to see my breakdowns early or get an idea of what's coming up next, be sure to check out my Patreon. Um, if you want to see, I've been, I've been making a ton of memes <laughs> since it was a little bit easier to make, and I've just been having a lot of ideas lately for those. Um, so click the cards on screen to see those, and I'll see you in the next video.